What's going on guys and welcome to your JavaScript tutorial. In this video we're going to talk about n naming variables and what are the rules for naming variables. So the first rule for naming variables would be the case that we cannot put a name of our variable uh, in the quotation marks. So let's say over here I create a variable, I called it name and then I gave a value of text rule 1. Now I cannot go back over here and start putting a quotation marks. You can see all right away that it turns orange the same as this text. So JavaScript thinks that this is a text that you just created, that this is a string, but it's not a string. It's actually a variable that we want to actually store the value. So that would be rule number one. Let's say the rule number two is the fact that we cannot use over here a keyword. Let's say in this case, you can see that var is our keyword. So I cannot say var and I cannot say, let's say alert because those things are actually reserved in JavaScript for performing special commands or special functions. So you cannot use the keywords. Now, the third rule is that our first character cannot be numbered. Let's say we have over here name. And again, I'm going to write rule three. And we cannot have the case where we have a number here like this because JavaScript has reserved the numbers for the numbers in order to perform uh, math operations on them. So if you're actually putting the first character number, it thinks that it now, now it's dealing with a number, but it's not dealing with a number. It's actually dealing with a variable. Now, moving along, uh, here are some things that we can do as our first letter. So let's say that if I'm naming the variable, I can use capital case letter. Rule four, I guess I'm going to call it right now. However, go easy on that because remember that there is a huge difference whether I would name it here, name over here, or I would have a name over here. Because if I would print name with a capital letter over here, and you see it's not printing because I have here variable three. So I'm just going to delete that. So let's save this. And we can see I have a rule over here four. However, if I would go for name with a small letter and I, and I have rule number three, because that's going to be the last one over here, you can see. And this was, if, if, you, uh, if you remember how we talked about it, that JavaScript is using the, the last value that we created because it's reading top down. So there is a huge difference between rule four and rule number three. Now we can also use a underscore. So I could write something like this and then have rule five over here. And I also can use a dollar sign. As, as my first. So I can say rule six over here. So these are all valuable. Now I can also include numbers and actual keywords in the variable. However, they cannot, they cannot start with the variable name. So let's say I can, I can say name var, right? That's, that's very, that's okay. And I can also write name four or name i don't know or n n a two name so the, the these ones all would be allowed and actually would work well now the last thing that i want to talk about is that again you want to make the names of the variables so they would actually in some way or shape or form would relate to the value that you have i mean i could have easily i can name all my variables x y and z However, I don't know whether I'm going to, in two weeks, whether I'm going to remember what the actual uh, variable names meant. And for sure, whoever is working with me is not going to know that night. In two weeks, pretty much probably in the first five minutes, as he starts reading, he's going to ask me, hey, why this is named X? So you want to say something. If you want to calculate, let's do, let's say, two values. So... It would make sense whether you write total or whether you write sum. That's just a common practice. 